Welcome back friends, welcome back to the homestead and into the workshop. Uh, sorry it's a bit of a mess behind me, workshop tends to be used as a store area during the winter. So um, I want to talk today about grow lights, <clears throat> I bought some, I'm going to uh, unbox them or it's as nearest as you'll get to an unboxing, I don't really understand these unboxing videos but anyway um, I've had a quick look but we'll take it to bits and see what's in there and then I'm going to build a rack um, to put the grow lights onto and I've got some um, alliums to already put under there. Now a bit of background, we need grow lights because we are in North Latvia, it's 58 degrees north, um, about zone I guess 5-ish, five 5-6. Five, um, it used to get pretty cold here in the winter, down to about minus 30 but um, not so cold these days. Um, it's currently today minus eight out there. Um, I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit. Um, I guess ten is it something like that. And uh, it's snowy, as you can see. So I'm not going to spend too much time out here. I've got a rough, um, very rough, on an envelope idea of um, what the frame should look like. It's very much. Uh, functional over design and I'm using this the window frame timber that if you remember from the smoker video we've got a load of it um, so it's a little bit overkill for the job but um, it's what we've got so we'll use it and um, yeah it should be about a meter long about 40 centimeters wide um, and yeah, we'll, we'll then take this indoors, I think, and then put it together where it's a bit warmer. Now, going back to the, the reason why we get, um, currently, the sun rises about eight and it sets about half four. Um, that's not much different to perhaps the UK. The trouble is it's freezing cold outside and so we can't um, put stuff outside to take advantage of the outdoor light and indoors here, um, there's not a lot of windows, so it's quite dark inside at this time of year. So we need to give some artificial light to get the seedlings going in this early part of the year. It tends to be coldest here in January and February, so probably after February we can start putting stuff outside. You know, I really want to get some alliums and some um, perhaps spinach, other bits and pieces going. Um, the problem we found last year was really it was at this stage, at the seedling stage, they go really leggy, really cut, we really need to support that stage. After that, you know, after March we can put stuff outside and it's absolutely fine, take advantage of the light and then obviously we get longer days. No problem at all. Right, so let's get these grow lights unboxed and we'll have a look what's inside this box and then go from there. Okay, so um, this is the uh, Rolidro. I think that's how it's pronounced, Twelve, uh, six pack. They come in four or six. Um, I think that's a strange um, sizing difference, but anyway, I'll go in for the six pack. And my plan is to have two sets of three. Um, yeah, and uh, this, this company uh, make quite a few different um, variations. I've not seen any other videos on this on YouTube, which is why I thought I'd make one. So um, let's open the box. Um, it comes with a manual book, it's in, this one's in German and English, um, and I just checked the contents already to make sure it was all there. But I think it's quite a comprehensive kit actually, they, they, um, it comes with a tape to stick them and it comes with the cable ties to tie them, um, it comes with a timer and it does 3, 6 and 12 hour cycles, I'll be using the 12 hour one. and. Um, yeah, so that's quite good. And um, there's all the technical information. The only thing I was really interested in was the distance between the lights and the seedlings, which is between 0.3 and 0.5 meters. So that's instructions. We have a bag of <coughs> cable ties. There's the timer. Um, and there's a dimmer switch on there as well, and uh, on off. And this actually splits, you can split the lights into two sets of three to only have three on or all six on. So that's quite good. Power supply obviously with the um, European plug on. 
and cable ties in there and then there's these extension wires as well. Which I'm sure will come in handy. And then there's the actual LED grow lights. Um, now this is the red and um, there's a protective cover on those as well. These are the red and blue lights. Um, I don't I don't profess to be an expert on grow lights. I did a little bit of research um, to try and understand a bit the difference between white and red and green. That's not really what this video is about, but I know that the plants need the red and uh, sorry, did I say green? I meant blue. They need the red and blue light spectrums to be able to produce the green chlorophyll and to grow the, the lights to different things. So there's five of these, and I think I had a quick look. Um, each each one has a input and an output so that you can connect them um, in serial in series and uh, one of them is an end one which doesn't have the output wire yeah that one so that's the last one although if you're doing them in two sets of three I would have thought you needed two of those, but anyway, <clears throat> it doesn't matter. I guess there's an option in for extending it further. I know you can buy multiples of these kits. So that's our kit. There's my rough um, sketch. A bit like a shoe rack, I suppose, really, with a, a shelf underneath. I guess let's get on and cut that timber and pre-drill some holes, and then we can go inside and... Um, it all together. Oh, and there's double sided sticky tape as well. Missed that. So that's quite good that I think they supply everything. Try to design it for different size seed trays, so you should get three of these or two of these. They're a bit big really, but and there's some smaller ones as well, about this size, and obviously get lots of these. Um, and I'm gonna have the lights off center, so there'll be one there, one there, and then one there, one there, and then like that. They're 40 centimeters, so this is one meter ten. So yeah, that's good. Now I just need to, to make the, the, the legs for the end and then cut the bits for the shelf. Um, I'll probably fix this together now, I think, rather than indoors, and then it's done. I've actually decided to inset them a little bit. <coughs> Makes sense because the LED lights, the light will go in both directions. So I'm just gonna inset them by about three centimeters. I've already marked out one end. I'm just gonna copy that. Okay, so I've just got this clamp down, and now I'm gonna pre-drill and screw these bits in the end. I'm not too worried about it being totally square. Okay, so I've built my legs already, and nothing particularly complicated about those. They are 55 centimetres tall. Now the recommended growing um, distance is between 15 and 30, so um, when you've got the tray, obviously the tray itself is about five or six centimetres high, and then you've got the plant, so you've got 50 centimetres, and then um, as the plant grows, obviously it gets closer, but what we can do is, we can put some kind of um, shim underneath, you know, books or whatever, to make the trays higher or lower, or, or, or another sort of um, additional shelf or something. Um, so we've got that variance now between 50 and 30 centimeters, um, as and when we need it. So I'm gonna screw these, um, the legs through the top, pre-drill and screw and glue. Um, then I will pre, 
I will cut the bottom shelf and then um, take it all indoors, I think. I'm going to make a cross brace as well, but that's, there's no urgency with that, just to make it a bit more... It is going to be pretty sturdy once it's screwed to the um, base plate as well. And then we'll take that indoors, I think, and do that, because I'm absolutely freezing now. Good, let's get on and do that, and then we'll go indoors and, and fix the lights. I'm not going to fi fix the base plate now, because um, I want to turn it upside down, put the lighting on, and then I'll screw on the base plate um, to finish it off later. Um, and then we can start using it. And so, let's get on and do that. Okay, it's the next morning and um, we're now indoors in the relative warmth. It's a small room at the front of the house um, that's not got its own heating, but it does pick up some residual heat from the kitchen, which is next door. So as you can see, um, the frame's all made up now um, and I've actually given it a, a lick of paint. My wife was um, upcycling some furniture in the kitchen, I had some of this um, battleship grey paint left over, just a little bit at the bottom of the can and I just used it up to paint the frame just to uh, make it a little bit nicer. Um, hopefully there will just be, a, there will be a little bit left to put onto the base. The, the frame's not fixed to the base at the moment, like I said um, earlier or yesterday, I will do that at the end. So what we need to do now is flip this upside down, put it on the floor and then I'm going to um, lay out the LED um, lights, how I want them configured and we'll have a look at that and hopefully we'll, we'll get that switched on as well and working. So um, let's do that. So this is the basic idea of what I wanted to do is have them um, staggered like this. So two there, two further along, and then two here. So, it's kind of covered as best as I can. Um, I need to use this double-sided tape or gel um, to stick them to the um, supports now and um, I've tried this stuff out it is actually really sticky so it should stick to this no problem at all um, so let's get that done um, I need to check the wiring as well first but I think this is all how it works and the idea is that the, the control and the electric will come in here you can see from the timer element um, here there's two it forks off and I thought if I could control these three and these three separately, that would kind of make sense. Um, so I could have a couple of trays here or one tray there and, and, you know, we don't have to have it all on at the same time. So that's what my plan is anyway. And it seems um, we're switching some of these around. That's how it will work. But I'll just try that. I think I'll test that just to make sure that is the case that I can do that. Yeah, good. So that will work, it seems. Um, that one's spare, and then we can split those off and control them. So I'm going to go ahead now and get these glued on, and, um, and then we can um, get it tested out. Okay, we're back. Um, I've stuck five down. I'm just going to do this last one. And um, this sticky tape's really good. Actually, you can see I accidentally, I left it on the um, 
painted floorboards here and it's pulled up some of the paint that's how good it is <coughs> um, I didn't bore you with sticking them all down because um, it's quite tedious getting the backing off the tape which I guess we would kind of expect or hope from good quality double-sided tape or this is gel I think is the proper um, word for it <coughs> and they give you plenty of tape um, there's a lot of spare as well I found when I was doing it that the easiest way is just to um, you can't lay it on the ground and I mean you need to hold it physically so I'll just line up there and then pull it taut off a bit too much there that's good and I found the best way to get this stuff off quickly is to be quite aggressive with it um, it's quite forgiving because it's this gel There. Some stuff down. So let's get all these connected up. We'll connect them up just so we can do a demo. First time doing it. They kind of have these twist lock connectors, which is good. Nice and secure. Let's get this plugged in. That's good. So there's dimming controls by the look of it. There's both on. And then dimming controls. Good. Very pleased with that. I think what I'm going to do is tidy up these wires to make them a bit neater and I'm going to use a glue gun to do that and, um, and then we'll come back. Okay, we're all done. Um, I think it looks great, and I'm really pleased about um, how this has come out, actually. Um, I'm just gonna go over the kit again, and I'm gonna go over the buttons on the controller as well. And you can see, um, I've got my first customers. Um, these are the, the alliums that I planted on uh, New Year's Day. They're, they're germinated already. I'm sure this room is probably warm enough to germinate, but they've been germinating in another room um, with only one small window with very little light they're just starting to stretch a little bit so it's the perfect time to get them under the grow lights really um still one set to come up and uh, we've got um, onions two sets of shallots and leeks here um, you'll see those featured in another video which is will be coming out very soon so um i've got it all plugged in i've got it wired up and i've tacked in the the base now as well onto the legs so it's it's a very sturdy frame um if we turn it on you can see the blue and red lights, they will come on well. I've, like I said earlier, I've split the set so I can control them. Um, here's the control button, so I can turn this set on and off, switch it around, have both on. And um, there's a dimming switch as well, which goes, when you turn it on, it's full brightness, and then it dims down about four or five variations, and then it turns off again. And then the third button is a timer button. Once we've turned it on, 
one click for 12 hours, two clicks for six hours, and three clicks for three hours. And the lights also change the color to indicate what setting it's on. And then if you click it again, um, it's no light at all, and that means it's just on constantly. I'm gonna to set to 12 hour setting. Well, today I'm gonna to set six hours, but tomorrow, um, I'll, when I get up about seven o'clock, I will then switch on 12 hours and then leave that cycling. So it's 12 on, 12 off um, during normal daylight hours. So overall, I'm really pleased with the kit. Let's just turn those lights off so you can see me. Um, I'm really pleased with the kit. Um, I was really, I was pleasantly surprised that it came with cable ties, which I didn't have to use as it happens. Plenty of double-sided tape, um, quite clear technical instructions. It doesn't tell you how to fix the lamps. You know, that's up to you to decide. This is the setup that I've got. You might want to do them differently, um, but it does give you all the technical information about the height. We've got the height here about 40, 50 centimeters. Obviously I can raise this up with some books or blocks of wood to get it higher, which I probably will do. And then I can lower it um, as and when I want to. I can control really well. Um, control two sets, two halves. I can control um, the amount of light. I can dim it. So um, I think it's a really good piece of kit for 60 euros, um, about 50, 55 pounds, something like that, I think. Um, what I'm really excited about is I can control now my uh, growth of my seedlings and if I want to do microgreens and stuff like that I can do that as well we can now grow food during the winter not just about getting stuff started but we can also grow that kind of those microgreen type food over the winter as well which you know traditionally would be very difficult here with the cold weather so overall really pleased uh, with this set of grow lights I'll leave a link to the grow lights in the description below um, if you've had different experiences to me or you've got any tips because you've been using them longer, um, then please do leave them in the comments below. Obviously, I'll feedback later. Um, proof of the pudding's in the eating, really, um, almost literally in this case. So I want to see these grow really strong now with these lights. That's the next stage, but I've got no reason to believe from other comments what I've seen that that won't work. Um, look forward to that in a future video. So for uh, this video, thank you for watching. Please do leave your comments below, like I said. Um, if you've not subscribed, please do subscribe. I've got lots of great videos coming out soon. And um, share with your friends as well, um, if you want to do that on your various social media platforms. Also, find us on Instagram for more regular updates. Okay, bye for now. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.